This is Kate, and uh, Kate does a lot of the PR and setting up for all of the races and usually gives me all the information I need to talk <laughs> about them. So I'm doing a little behind the scenes video for Fitkers. Yeah, perfect. And so right now I know that I just took some video of the guys uh, setting up over there. I'm gonna kind of turn so we can see a little more. Um, the guys setting up now, the running the wires across, that's for the timing shift yes, then, right? Yes, that's for the timing shift. That's right on the back of the bib. A lot of runners probably wouldn't even notice that it's there, um, but then, so when it becomes across they can get their official results they should get an email right away um, they can start lining up here shortly um, the roads closed at 8 30 so it's just kind of like we just swing it across and set it so up we could run out the road and not yep, worry about anything not cars. worry about it anything and then there's people still picking up their packets which is where a majority of the staff are okay. I'm running around social like with the social media so if you have any questions always just to, like connect with us via that um, just chat with us we'll always yeah respond. you can go to uh, grandma's marathon.com anytime during most of these races and then uh, our our, uh, yeah. websites uh, during the big updates. race yeah and we're always doing this time this is the first year we're doing a snapchat filter so if you are taking those oh, selfies nice. like make sure you just tag it take us in it and it'll be great okay yeah. and then uh, uh, one of the questions I was going to ask you is with the timing chip um, it actually kind of changes the way people race because now it doesn't start till you get across the line correct so like when that gun goes off a lot of runners think that oh I gotta get across that I'm already getting time that, t that chip doesn't start timing until your foot crosses that like the mat the starting line and then there's like different splits that you'll run so when you get to like the 1.5 like two miles you're gonna be getting a, a split so then you can go back and look at like how fast you were racing and then once you cross the finish line that's your finishing time so and with the chip it's so much like you said you get an email it's so much faster to get your race results yeah so you know um, back when grandma's marathon started at 77 we used to have to wait to post them on a big board you had to go through everything and now it's just instantaneous i wouldn't even want to be that person on the finish line and stop doing <laughs> In the stop time oh there's another one. Oh, there's another one well thank you kate very yeah. much and, and uh we're gonna do this all the way through till grandma's marathon a little behind the scenes so Perfect. uh you'll you'll meet kate a lot yeah <laughs> congratulations <laughs> how was the race it was uh it was good it was nice weather for once yeah so. last year was nice too wasn't it Oh yeah, that was it was actually pretty nice. I think so. No, it was like sunny it, last year, like the first time in like years. I think it was warmer this year, though. <laughs> you think so? Hell yeah. It was um, probably the, the nicest day of the year. The course right. was a little different this year, wasn't it? Just a uh, touch. It might it might have been a touch, yeah. touch different. Did it affect your running at all? No. No. Just, you just go out and run basically. <laughs> so are you one of those runners that, that you use this as a preparedness for bigger things? Or? Oh yeah, I, I mean. Of course, I'm not going to be running this this little of distance, but it it gives me an idea where I should uh, be at in okay. the spring anyway. You know, for uh, and prep for grandmas, I guess. So nice. Got a lot of work to do. So, well, thank you for the interview. Yep.